Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing this intro after the game has been played because I said I was not going to show all the games this season, our second season with Iowa State trying to win a championship. We fell a little bit short last year. We came close and got beaten the, um, in the playoffs by Georgia, who went on to win the national title two games later. But I was all I was going to do this year was just show I was going to uh, – make highlight, make a highlight reel of the season and then just show uh, the games once we get to the playoffs so we can see our, our journey through the playoffs, hopefully, hopefully to the uh, national championship. However, there are a couple hundred people out there that want to see all the games. So that's what this is. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of talking in this one because I wasn't planning to make a video out of it. I record it for highlights. And there's a great highlight in here of a, a touchdown from a kickoff. Kickoff return for a touchdown, which is rare. That would make the highlight reel. I got one of those in this game. I also got a pick six in this game. That would make the highlight reel. This is an offensive shootout. An offensive shootout like you wouldn't believe. If you like offense, you're going to love this game. It's fun. I'm just letting you know I didn't, don't do a lot of talking through it because I wasn't recording it to put it up. But y'all want to see them, so I'm putting them up. So here's, um, here's where we're at real quick. Our next opponent is Oklahoma State. We are 3-0. Um, I want to show you um, if I can find oh, where it is on this. Where's the... Uh, uh, now I can't find it. Ah, team schedule. Here we go. Um, so here's here the, the the computer did us dirty, man. They gave us our two buys uh, at the beginning of the season. Now I put in Auburn because they, we had cupcake teams here. They put cupcake teams in the in in the first three games, but I I boosted them up. I brought in Auburn. We beat them fifty six to twenty seven. Iowa was there. This is there every year. That's a rivalry game. Though we lost last year twenty to ten to Iowa. We beat them this year pretty dang good. Then this is a game that you're gonna watch right here. <laughs> 70 to 63. I'm telling you, if you like offense, watch this game. It's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, like I say, a rare kick uh, return for a touchdown that I managed to get. I also managed to get three picks. Uh, one of them was a pick six. We sacked a quarterback a couple times. So there is defense in here, believe it or not. But more, <laughs> but, but here's what the, the computer did to us. So now we, we're coming off a bye. Now we go into conference games. All these games count more than these because they're, they're conference games. Uh, and I can't change them. I can't put a buy. I can't take one out and put a bye week in. These are locked in nine games in a row. So I have to be real careful with injuries. I can't, I got to be real careful not to overuse uh, key players uh, because of the injury situation. So uh, this is where we're at starting conference play October 2nd, next year, 2025. Um, against Oklahoma State, then we have Arizona, Arizona State, BYU, Utah, Kansas State, Colorado, Houston, and we end up with West Virginia, and then we go into the conference championship and the playoffs. Uh, so that is where we're at, and that's the game you're going to be watching is against Cal State Berkeley, and it is an offensive explosion that was not since clinched until the final minutes of the fourth quarter. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. And because so many people, well, hundreds of you anyway, a couple of hundred people want to, that, you know, a lot of people don't watch this stuff, but the ones who do want to see the whole season. So, all right, man, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the whole dang season. Here we go. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Sturdy Golden Bears. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back. The Golden Bears will get us started with the opening kickoff. 
he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he's going to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. We're expecting a big day from this young That was great. Just want to get the crowd out of the game, make it more pound the football, run the football right at them. It takes it takes the juice away. It takes that sauce away. You don't get to those third down situations where they get absolutely bonkers and it's hard for a quarterback to even think. Just run the football right at them. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends are so much versatile. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient most of the time, that drag route's going to come in. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's a big deal about going on the road? But if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment. And circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, though. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Oh, and the second go. one still snap it on first and ten. They'll go to the ground. Oh, no. Couldn't and get the block. One, it brings up second and nine. Yeah, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, and that pass back off. Oh, they are trying to take it back.
defense needs to have a plan for this guy. They weren't ready for that one. Drag run going all the way across the field. The DB just can't stay with them because of his speed. And as a result, they give up a big one. Well, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. offense the throw game getting working getting the touchdown pass this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence this passing game getting in a rhythm nice start for this offense PAT unit on the field it through for an extra point. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. The Golden Bears offense will take the field for the first time. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to... Break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out after him every time you're throwing the ball, because this safety is a different move. I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Well, Jets, we pass. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all right up to the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this game if I were allowed to have kind of push passes on those playing quarterbacks. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead of him running and the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And the Golden Bears are on the move. Running back searching for a hole. That's doing a great job committing to the run. Commit to the run like this, obviously, you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you gotta stop the run first. Gonna run it. It's up. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Trying to get to it. And they failed to hook up on third down. That's the offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We've got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite. Running it back to Sheffield. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Iowa State sending the offense back up. This drive scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense got to stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so through the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Try to get the football back to your offense. Good spot after that 
seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Leaves it with the running back. And they try to run inside. Just and there is as maneuverable. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. To the air. It's back. Just a short pass to the tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit too for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate creating some distance there between him and the defense. The Cyclones have it with a first and ten. Looking for room. It's Hanson. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up. Getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Got to run, man. the goal line. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Cyclones line it up with a first and goal. He'll set up the throw. It's complete. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cyclone. Field shrinks. Tight end throws. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. But you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him. He can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Kansas State looked like a serious force in what can only be described as a dominant win. This is a program that's won before, and they might just add some more hardware before this year is out. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. It sounds like they had a good one there. Power football with the run. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To throw. It's Mendoza. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. In the slant route, you got to put that foot in the ground and cut in in a hurry so you can create a little bit of separation from that quarterback. A nice job of concentration, plucking that football. Oh. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out of their own 37. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, just nothing doing on that last run, and they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the field. From the shotgun now, here's an inside get. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for a loss. That was impressive. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Just about the time the quarterback got the snap, that dude was in his mustache. 
quick, fast, and in a hurry in the backfield. Got him to the ground before he could even think about getting the laces and trying to get the ball out of his hands. The Golden Bears will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block at Sheffield. He's got great speed. This guy has a daring punt return, man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Well, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking to pass, it's back. Check out the stats so far. <laughs> Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the seconds. Bears the 
inside to punt it away. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. And the returner can find no daylight. He goes down. Iowa State sending the offense back out. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels. So maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. They'll keep it on the ground. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. To the air on first down. He's got it. Knocked down at the 29-yard line. Picked up 15 yards on the play, and he's got a first down. Quarterback checking the play. Looking downfield. It's back. Skips away from pressure. He's got it. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. And it's so hard to be on the run and make an accurate throw. It's just very tough. Very few people can do it. I'm, again, we see the freaks and we see the highlights all the time, but that's a tough thing to do. He made it look pretty easy. Going for six. This connection is on fire to start the season. Not one, not two, three games in a row. He's got a receiving touchdown. They continue to find the playmaker, and I don't think it's going to end after game three. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with. Running it and flowing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 this point. And I would also say, Paul, I'm kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, I'm going to put some good possessions together here and make something happen on this side of the field. Oh, no. Yard gain. 
Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. He's got a head of steam, boy. He is hard to bring down. They've got it at the 37. It's post and 10. They're going to ride this running back. And he's brought down after a nice game. And right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the ball. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on the first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run. Oh! No! is headed back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again in this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication is going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding down in second and six. Off the boot, looking for his man. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Oh, man.
defense is being challenged, and the secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter. And already, this quarterback has over 200 yards of hands. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. Once you get in triple digits, that's a good day for a running back. That's it right there. 100 on the dot. He's had a really nice day. Showed you patience. Showed you physicality. Showed you a little bit of everything on his way to 100 yards. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Now improvising. Grab behind the line. It's Hanson. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy to play in space. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that. The Cyclones have it with a first and ten. The gift to the back. Got to run and the goal line. And finish the run at the end zone. Touchdown, Cyclone. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution in the drive by that offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. They marched 79 yards on the drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much. He stopped at the 18. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth. I've got to score. Every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a group? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like i got to make every third down and four. If guys are open vertically down the field, i got to hit them too. You can't let our serve get broken. Hey, time out. As long as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Dropping back, it's Mendoza. He makes the connection. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when you start getting those long yard situations. Some 
sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters today from there in Berkeley. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride and with that let's send it back to the fellas inside california memorial stadium Cyclones will boot it away to start the second half. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth game and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive? Who's going to take some shots and try to make some plays and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think his play call is right. We learn a lot about this coaching staff with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be in the hour and keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Right back to the well. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line. They go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. 
field, he'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Out he gets it. Special teams being special. Suck them in to the right. Get the blocks. Back to the left. Flat now. Use your speed. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point was good. No incident there, and we are tied up in the third. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Texas Tech is getting crushed today, and this is in front of a full house in Lubbock. That fan base should not be subjected to this. They're trailing by 14 to Oregon State. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought 
football on Thursday. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center of the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Quickly to the tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. They'll throw it on first down. Find his big tight end. They'll stop him at the 41, but he's got 10 yards, and they'll move the chains. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He's been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. Looking to throw, it's Beck. Spits it out to the back. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy. Use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical because he bobbles it at all. Or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when the body jerks through when that ball starts to come loose and pop. Okay, right. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. A little too anxious on that offensive line. That'll be a false start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. Here away from the defense. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. The Cyclones have pushed it inside the 20. Lost to fire on second down. He's got it down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Trying to pound their way in. And he is stopped. Not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. Great job of containing by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man in the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the lead. They've moved it right to the precipice of a score, and they need one more yard. Trying to run it in. And he takes it in for a score. Touchdown, Cyclones! And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line, paving holes, continue to feed this man in the ball. He'll try to tack on one more. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. <laughs> they put together an 81-yard oh, drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take it. Man. To the 25. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense. They have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points there, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tired. And I think that's the difficulty being a player. Like, I have to balance all of those things. The defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Takes a hit as he fired. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. This QB has been so comfortable all day long. Obviously having a ton of success. You've got to affect it. You've got to put some hits on those body blows so you can make him wear out and physically feel you. 
This is the first time really getting to him. This defense needed this pattern. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Back to pass, it's Mendoza. He's right on top. They make the stop. This passing game does some damage. They move the sticks with the first down. The Golden Bears are flying down the field. They want to run it left here. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Small game. I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. From the gun, running back on the move. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here they come on third down, and the defense has had no answer so far. From the gun, wants to pass. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. Ready? Iowa State sending the offense back out. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got to stop. And now a chance to break the top. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hands. Now this offense call has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. They're getting this guy lathered up. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable because right now it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. Try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Let's go to the studio now and 
check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game. 96 today. feet. New Mexico State has been blitzed from the opening kick. And as you can see, the score right now is a lot to a little. Let's see how this coach tries to explain this. They're trailing by 18 to Sam Houston. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. On the move. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't O-lay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. Teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. From the shotgun, the inside kid. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. You understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. Now inside the 20. First and 10 from the 18. Scanning the field. It's back. Getting some heat.
climbing up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll start the return inside the spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse. And that last drive. You really did, David. I mean, that was a master class of just reading coverage and being on the It'll be first and ten from the 30. On the run. It's up. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Release to the back. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Back to throw, it's Mendoza. Fires left. What a snag by the defense. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. Oh, man, and that's a big interception late in this game. And listen, I know you're trying to go vertical with the four verts, but so did the defense. Great job staying deep. Playing the football in the air and forcing the ginormous turn. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense, too, David. I think they've got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays. Those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. Easy. Again. Yeah. They bring him down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Now facing a third and long. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Got his man downfield. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the corner that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to put that explosive play. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. If you don't tip the scales at three bells, stay on the sideline. Big boys in the goal line D. Give to the fullback. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Iowa State. They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. Giving it to the big boy right near the goal line, plowing ahead. You know he's going to put two hands on the football, lower his shoulder. Freshman. Second and goal. You don't need third and goal, thanks to the big fella. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they have a two touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. 
After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after that pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff is going to be afraid to throw this round. A nice job by the defense staying to the two. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat. I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the defense. And here comes the offense on second down. Wants to throw. It's Mendoza. Fires to the wideout. He makes the catch. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. On second down, he'll let it fly. He finds a dead spot in the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and move the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. points needed points badly defense comes up with the big interception takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost almost out of reach hey, let's check in with kevin connors in the studio kevin guys right back to your game after we update the nation on this one two lane delivered the type of thrashing generally reserved for homecoming games in new orleans thing is this was a road victory and a win like this is going to resonate throughout the American. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome. And certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Trying to find his man on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, it's second down. Dropping back. It's Mendoza. He got his man on the outside. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Finds the tight end. Well, the defense needs one more stop. I mean, nice job not giving up the first down that last one. But with the lead late like this, one more stop, they're going to win this game. Wow. those hammies and glutes all activated don't want any muscle pulls from overuse coverage team was down there to corral and they made the stop and they'll mark it as a 39 iowa state sending the offense back out this offense has really been clicking in the game so far jesse no doubt everything their play caller is dialing up these guys offensively have been able to go out and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You've got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Fullback's got it. And the Cyclones get it past the sticks. Those fullbacks are home. Man, those guys are constantly 
hitting linebackers and blocking the whole entire game. So when you get a chance to give the big boy the ball, it's always, and you know what it is? It's a morale boost for everybody on the whole field. Everybody gets jacked up, and he finally gets to touch the football. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it flow. They'll leave it with it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Looking downfield, it's... Oh, right. no. Serious arm strength on that third down pass when he takes the lead. The Cyclones will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. is headed back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit. I always said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never continue. On second down, he is looking downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Yeah, a great job by the QB finding the running back, get in the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He's going to pass. Quickly out to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. You know, at this point of the game, guys, trailing the way they are late in the game, check down throws are not going to get it done. You've got to be more aggressive in the passing game. You're going to have to just start taking shots. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, they're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Quickly complete. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. The Golden Bears are in the hurry up. You're seeing in college football now a spread offense and tempo and air raid. You're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick, quick game is so good, and then you take shots when you get matchups, and you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now, and he showed all of it today. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the Take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. 
They'll run it to keep the clock moving. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. in this one and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wide out. He gets it They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Wants to throw on first down. He'll take a shot. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. And the defense is playing with a sense of urgency right now. Obviously, they're playing with the lead. They know this offense needs to find a way to generate points. Expecting a shot on that last play. So nice job in coverage. He's looking for an open man on second down. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline play. That's exactly why you practice these two-minute situations. The quarterback knew exactly where to go. He's trying to work the sidelines, save some clock. Great route by the receiver getting open, making the catch, getting out of bounds. And this driver is off to a... They might be thinking back-to-back -back big plays after that last one. First and 10 from the 32. Looking for a crease. It's Lee. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the 
defense was finally able to get him down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. To give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up the blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make a stop. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. And the Cyclones will try to run out the clock in the final minute. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Belief is what you build. That confidence. You know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Thank you. 